Because, of course, I'm very excited to pick him up. Uh, heard the flight's on time, so that's a good thing to keep us on schedule. But, uh, of course, it's a wonderful feeling playing an exhibition here in the Zurich against him. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful for us and for, for the fans and for, obviously, the kids for Africa. Hospitality is an essential part of Roger Federer. And when the tennis world's number two invites the number one for an extraordinary match, his hospitality is immediately obvious. The warm airport reception and the personal limo service that followed were the relaxed start of a long and intensive day. It would peak that evening in the excitement of the match for Africa for Roger Federer's foundation. We go for lunch and then we have a kids clinic on center court playing tennis with some kids and, uh, and then go meet some sponsors and get ready for the match. So I just wanted to show him a bit of Switzerland, a bit of Zurich. I mean, obviously he's been here before in Basel, but um, I'd like to be a good host. The talented limo driver proved to be an excellent host, as he and his friend delighted in surprising shoppers in the very heart of Zurich, the Paradeplatz. For me, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to know different cities around the world and now the, the house of, of Roger is, is a pleasure and it's, for me it's very nice walk here around and it's not raining so that's fantastic. I um, just want to you know, make him feel Switzerland a little bit into, in the city centre and uh, have a nice time and uh, just also create a bit of excitement and uh, you know, inspiration for other people to see that we're doing something good for Africa here. And we're of course again very happy that he's here and I hope he enjoys uh, Switzerland. Now, on to lunch in Zurich's old town. Then the Hallenstadion. There the two stars will face each other for their first match in Switzerland. Beforehand, the champs had to work hard in the warm-up. 56 Federers of the future were keen to show their heroes they had the right stuff. Roger and Rafa were impressed as the youngsters soaked up their advice and came back for more. It was really fun and, well, we just, we didn't really learn a uh, so much, but we just played, but sometimes they corrected us. I learned that um, every, everybody can um, be very good in tennis. Now, just two hours to go. Excitement ripples through the stadium, packed with distinguished spectators. I do believe they've, they've both had a bit of a break and both are very excited to play this uh, match for Africa today. I think uh, uh, they're both looking forward to this final countdown uh, and uh, it's, it's a special event because it's for a charity and I think for them it's a special occasion tonight and both are going to enjoy it. Today, the whole day long, I mean, it really takes some energy out of them but it's the fun. Once they're on court, it's fun for both of them. For one man, success was never in doubt. The host for this evening. I'm a very proud host uh, that we have the partnership with Roger Federer. Roger is not only an ambassador for Credit Suisse, here it's really a partnership uh, for the foundation and we have uh, together goals together, uh, you know, to, to really to uh, bring education to uh, poor countries uh, because education is one of the most important part to help in this country uh, really uh, to bring the society to the next level. Then finally they appear, the world's best players at center court. And as always when Roger meets Rafa, the tennis is superb.
After three hard-fought sets, Roger Federer prevailed against his greatest opponent. More important than the victory, however, was what really made Roger smile. The financial result. Pledges from the television audience, together with sponsors' contributions, netted the Roger Federer Foundation more than two and a half million Swiss francs.